When the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, they did so intending to smash in one single blow America's resolution and its inability to retaliate. They failed miserably on both counts. The Japanese sank or badly damaged seven antiquated American battleships, but since they were lost in harbor, many of their crews were saved and all but two of the ships were salvaged. The raid also left most of Pearl Harbor's shore installations intact. Most important of all, the violation of United States territory united the nation behind the declaration of war on Japan. Moreover, the loss of the battleships forced the United States Navy to use its aircraft carriers as the core of a more up-to-date Pacific fleet. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The 1927 vintage Lexington and Saratoga and the much more modern Enterprise were out of port during the raid and were therefore untouched. By 1942, they were joined by the Enterprise's sister ship, Yorktown, and the newly completed Hornet. These carriers were well fitted to take the offensive, for they carried a large number of effective fighters and dive bombers. The Commander-in-Chief of the Central Pacific Fleet in 1942 was Admiral Chester William Nimitz. Within weeks of his appointment, this great leader transformed the morale of his men, infecting them all with his own confidence in a final Allied victory. Following his appointment, Nimitz decided to mount a series of raids on Japanese-held islands in the Pacific. The main reason for these raids, apart from harassing the Japanese, was to maintain the morale of his crews and give them valuable operational experience. On separate occasions, his fleet attacked Japanese bases in the Marshall and Gilbert Islands. Then in March, he took his fleet to attack Wake and Marcus Islands. These strikes were by no means small, and the damage inflicted on all targets throughout the first few months of 1942 was considerable. 